Hey guys, so not a ton has happened since you last heard from me uh, in late March on the Rebecca Byler murder case. The last big update we had was when court documents were released back in March. But there is one piece of information to share with you. And I know a lot of people have been wondering about when the trial is actually going to happen for uh, Sean C. Cranston. And if you're not familiar, Sean C. Cranston, of course, Pennsylvania has been accused of the murder of 23-year-old Rebecca Byler, an Amish woman living in northwestern PA, uh, and her unborn child. She was pregnant at the time. If you don't know this case, uh, there's a playlist going to be linked at the end of this video. You can catch up on previous videos on what's happened so far. But back to the latest uh, update. So the trial had actually been originally set for June, but the news now is that it will be moved. There's actually different reporting on when the trial is actually going to take place. Uh, one source says that the trial will be moved to the September trial term, however long the term is. Um, but in another piece of reporting, and this is from GoErie.com, we learned that Judge Schultz on Tuesday granted the motion, ordered that the trial not occur in June, and moved it to the November term, according to court records. So it sounds like it's actually going to happen in the November term. And again, I don't know exactly how long is that term, when it starts and ends. But in any case, it sounds like the trial is going to be happening uh, towards the end of this year, but it's going to be uh, a little while yeah, it sounds like at least half a year from now. Now, why was the, the trial date moved? Well, according to reporting at GoErie.com, the trial will not occur any earlier to give defendant Sean C. Cranston's lawyer, quote unquote, significant time to review and investigate the, quote unquote, large amounts of evidence the defense has received from the prosecution. Uh, that's according to a defense motion that Judge Francis J. Schultz granted on Tuesday. So, I guess this is something that happens often enough. You often hear about trial uh, dates being moved for reasons like this. So that's kind of the main piece of news that I'm seeing now. The other detail, and again, this is more on the legal side, uh, according to GoErie.com, uh, Schultz also issued an order that sets a pretrial conference for June 24th at the Crawford County Judicial Center in Meadville. Uh, and what's this for? Well, it says the prosecution and defense are at the hearing are to discuss their ability quote, to try this case during the November 2024 term of criminal trials, end quote, according to the order. So uh, that sounds like they're going to just confirm whether or not it's actually going to take place in that November uh, term uh, or not at, you know, at this June 24 uh, pretrial conference. One other thing to add on is that apparently Sean Cranston has retained a private lawyer. Okay, previously he had, I think, I believe a public defender uh, that was working with him in the in the earlier pretrial hearing but now he has a private lawyer lewis w emmy of pittsburgh who he hired on april 2nd so in terms of new details about the case new information i don't have anything to report to you today because as far as i can see nothing has really been released uh, in the time since you know our last video which was around the time of the court records release in late March and now. So again, just wanted to check back in because I know people have been wondering about what's been going on with this case. Uh, we, we know it's not happening in the very near future, but it sounds like it's something that's going to be happening uh, towards the end of this year. If anything else emerges uh, on this case, uh, I'll be jumping in to drop a video uh, on it. But uh, in the meantime, it doesn't sound like we're going to be getting a lot of information. So um, that's one reason I wanted to just and put this video out to let you know kind of where things stand and I guess what to expect based on what I'm reading uh, in the public reports. So thanks a lot for listening. Again, the playlist is linked here at the end so you can check out uh, prior videos if you want to get caught up to speed uh, if you missed anything on this case. Do me a favor, hit the like button if you found this video useful. Appreciate that. Uh, hit subscribe to stay up to date with future videos and uh, check out our Patreon for bonus content. Again, Appreciate you guys tuning in. Talk to you next time.